Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I have a very special package that comes from Katie of, um, I think it's a Baker Lane Studio. I will put her YouTube and Instagram link down in the description below, but she and I have become very good friends over the last few months having pretty much daily discussions about fountain pens, not just about the ones that we like, but it gets down to very philosophical reasons for why we should or shouldn't purchase. But anyway, we decided that we wanted to do a bit of a swap, both of inks and anything else that we wanted to add. So this is that package. Let's get started. So I already had a little bit of a peek into this and Katie also included something that I ordered and had sent to her so that I wouldn't have to pay the astronomical shipping to Canada. But so excited. So we've got some inks and some nibs and those are the ones that I had ordered got a lovely letter which she wrote with her pastel primary manipulation pen and then we have oh okay i'm taking this all out so we've got this this and what's at the very bottom oh okay and i think those are stickers and a notebook and okay so let's move this all to the side so here's just a quick glimpse at Katie's letter, just a little bit of a description of all the inks, but also what she included. And then I'm just so excited to get into this. And firstly, this stamp, she made this. She made this, like that is amazing. I am going to use this and then do some ink swatching with this. Ooh, excited. Uh, and then she included some stickers. Oh my gosh, she did these herself. She did these herself, so hold on a sec. The, da, 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 da. Oh, she made the stickers and like, she is an amazing, amazing artist. I don't know how she did this. I think she might've taken a picture of what she did in her notebook and then printed them as stickers. Like, oh my gosh. These are outstanding. Oh, they are so pretty and they're gonna look so amazing in my journal. Katie, they're amazing. She is a much more talented watercolor artist than I am and it's just, I'm just amazed. Like look at the shading on that hippopotamus. That's a hippo, right? <laughs> oh, look at the shading. That's, oh, amazing, amazing. And then, so she's made these two, and then she also put together some notebooks with different types of paper. And this one I think is the new Tamale River paper from Sanzen. So she had the paper and then bound them. So, oh, there's one that's 52 GSM and then one that's 60 GSM. So she sewed these together herself. And this will be really fun for painting and for swatching. Oh, that's definitely what I'm using these for, is for painting. Thank you so, so much, Katie. And then in this little pack, I'm gonna open this one first because this was my order. So I had ordered from Kirk Spear of Pen Realm. So, oh, that one's different. Hold on, so I had ordered a couple of things. Let's just take that out before I... Okay, let me organize that. So I had ordered three nibs from Kirk Spear of Pen Realm. I ordered two Bach nibs, one in a fine and an extra fine, so I can put them into the pens that take Bach nibs. And then I bought a fine Yovo nib in the steel or the silver, because I can't have too many Yovo nibs. And then what Katie included herself is, oh, let's move that. She included a Jinhao Fude nib. So with the Fude nib, they actually, what they do is you need to have an extra fine or a fine nib so that they can turn the tip of the nib up like that. And the way that you can write with it is that you can write it with it at different angles and get the different line widths. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to put that on a pen. And then lastly, some inks. So we said we would stick to the number of five, but we both went a little over. I think, oh, there's Lucy. So she sent me some Murasaki Shihibu, Pilot Roshizu because she knew I was running out, so thank you. And then she sent me uh, Birmingham Pen Company Pitted Nickel, 
course Lucy starts to bark now. And then I haven't ever tried Birmingham Pen Company ink, so I'm excited to try these. And then Solar Storm and Arugula. Oh, oh, I like that so far. That's going to be interesting. And then ooh, In Institute Moonshine. That looks like a color I'm going to really like. And then uh, these a little. Katie's a bit more adventurous in like different brands than I am so far. Andorillium Purple. How do you say that? Galenol? Galenol? Anyway, I'm excited to swatch these, but I first want to actually put this nib on a pen and we'll try and dip that. Let's go and check that out. So what I've done is actually taken the nib and the feed from my pens by Casey pen and what it actually looks like is that the pen and feed are like this in there and you can actually just pull it out so that I can put the food a nib which is a Jinhao nib which is a Yovo nib Yovo number six right on the feed like so making sure normally there is a way where you can tell where to place the nib but it looks like it's one of those where I feel like I have to Okay, and then making sure that it goes in properly. There. Very easy to do, actually. And this is what I love about the Yovo nibs and some of the Bach nibs. So then I'm going to put this back onto the grip section of the pens by Casey. Oh, that felt like it came out a little bit more than it should. Is it stuck in there? Okay. And then put the converter and I'm gonna test that out along with the ink. So let's get my Galen Leather Notebook. Okay, so for swatching, I have my B6 Galen Leather Notebook with Tomoe River paper. I have my Khaki Mori nib and I have a paintbrush. So I also have a piece of Rhodia paper here and this is what I actually keep all of my ink swatches on once I've done them. So I actually have a little reference kind of Rolodex of all of the inks that I've ever sampled in here and it's nice to reference in here actually what I've tried this is not in color order this is in alphabetical order because it's just the way my brain works okay so the first one we're going to try is Birmingham Pen Company Pitted Nickel Hear Lucy in the background here. Ooh, it feels like it goes on quite light. Mm, that'll be interesting for shading. Who suggested that I use a tape to put my ink samples on? That's genius. And then doing a swatch on here where it looks different for sure. So then with the Kathy Mori nib. So this is, not that one, Birmingham Pen Company. Ooh. It's gonna go Birmingham Pen Co. And that is Pitted Nickel. Interesting. I haven't tried any Birmingham Pen Co. inks before. But so far, interesting. It felt like it went on a little bit light but so far doing really well in the Khaki Mori nib. And then doing my swirl. One of the things I knew, do want to do now is just see if I can get that line variation. Oop. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. So much ink on there. And then once again, this is the Birmingham Me, Pid Nickel. And you can see how one dip has lasted that long, so that's fantastic. All right. Oh, I really like that. And I think Katie knows my, my tastes. She's gotten to know my tastes really well. The next one, I'm excited for this. Birmingham Pen Company Arugula. Oof. Oof. I'm thankful that none of the inks actually exploded in flight because that has tended to happen with some of my inks. Okay. 
Okay, so the next ink, like I said, is Birmingham Pen Company Arugula. Let's see how that goes on. Ooh, it reminds me of like a little bit of a greener version of Nina Ho or that Sailor Shikiori 50th or 150th anniversary. So look at that on Rodeo paper. That looks beautiful. I feel like that's both, it could be a spring and a fall color, just the way that that pulls. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. So a little bit on my Kakimori, Kakimori nib here. I'm wiping off the edges because knowing me, if I don't do that, I will get that all over my fingers. So, ooh, that is a lot of ink, hold on. putting down a lot of ink, and that's arugula. I really like that. Did I smudge it? I really like the way that that looks. That is a very, very pretty green. Oh, so nice. One, two, so pretty. So once again on my Rhodia sample and I know that it's going to react slightly differently to the Rhodia paper versus the uh, Tomoe River but it's nice to just have a reference. That is beautiful. The next one from Katie is also from Birmingham Pen Company and it is called Solar Storm. Ooh. I'm not normally into like oranges or bright yellows, but I like that. It's gonna be really good for painting. Put a little on the rhodia paper. And I like to try and add different layers so you can see the shading. And then some on my nib. Oh, I keep doing that where I'm trying not to tap it on the edges like I would my glass stick pen, but it's a habit that is hard to break. Birmingham. Pen Co. And once again, this is Solar Storm. Beautiful. swirlies. What are these called? There must be a proper professional scientific term for the swirlies. And then trying to get the line variation. Oh, lovely. Love, lovely. You can see how because I put so much on the rhodia paper that it's actually seeping through a little bit, which is not what I wanted. That was my own fault. That's nothing to do with the ink itself. That's me just putting way too much on. But I like the way that this writes with the nib. Very, very pretty color. The next ink is Andorillium Purple or Galanule Purple. I don't know how to pronounce that. There we go. So this, oh, I forget, I think it was Marilyn Gardner who recommended using the tape holder, Scotch tape holder. Genius. Ooh, I'm always on the lookout for a really good purple. I don't know why, purple's not normally my color of choice, but I really like it. Ooh, that dried, seemed to dry very quickly. Let's add a little bit more. There we go, see what the shading is like. And then in the Kakimori nib. Ooh, I kind of over or under. No, overestimated, underestimated how much ink was in there. So this is, where is the sample? And Aurelium. And Galinoa Purple. Let's 
Now there's a lot on this nib and it is making it feather on this paper. I'm wondering if it's the ink or I'm wondering if it's just how much I have on the Kakamori nib. But it's a very pretty shade of purple. And then do the different line widths. Oops, that was not a different line width. Wow, beautiful. So once again, yeah, look at all of that feathering. I don't wonder if that was just me putting too much on the nib, but it is very pretty. I like purples. There we go. The next one I am excited for, it's Ink Institute Moonshine. Let's get this out of the way. I have a thing for dusty pinks. Again, I don't know why it's not a color that I would normally go for in everyday life, but in fountain pen inks, it's become a favorite color. Ooh, it's like a really light color. I don't know how suitable this would be for writing on a day-to-day -day basis. This would be more for painting. I think she sent this to me more for painting than for writing. But we'll see what this is like in the nib and how it takes. So I'm gonna try and put less ink on there just so it doesn't feather like it does for the other one. So ink, institute, and moonstone, moonshine. Oh, so pretty. I was gonna say it reminds me of Wearing Gold White Rabbit, but I've never tried Wearing Gold White Rabbit. I really would like to. Whoa, that was a wonky leaf. Oh, pretty. Oh, need a bit more. Yeah, I didn't put as much ink on the nib this time just to prevent the feathering. So yeah, the feathering that's happening here is because I put way too much ink on the nib. That is, it is quite light. It might only do really well in maybe stub nibs, but the shading, like look at the way that it looks on the Rhodia paper. Yeah, this will be fun to paint with. Moonshine. Perfect. Look at the shading in that one. That is really pretty. And the last one is a purple that I already have, um, but already used up. So I'm really glad that Katie sent me a sample because I really like this purple. And it is Pilot Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu. I love that. And you can see the difference definitely between the two. I feel like this reminds me a bit of like Noodler's purple. I can't remember the name, but it reminds me more of Noodler's um, if you guys know the name of that particular purple I'm talking about, I might have it in my, here we go, my little Rolodex. So it is Noodler's, L-M-M, <laughs> Noodler's, there, Polar Purple. Yeah, it does remind me of Noodler's Polar Purple, looks more like that. And then with the glass, oh no, this is not my glass dip pen. It's like I've never done a swatching video before. What is up with me? All right, so Pilot Hiroshizuku. This ink feels like it flows easily out of the nib versus the other ones. Murasaki Shikibu. Beautiful. I really like this purple. I'm so glad you sent me more, Katie. Oh, so satisfying. What I found is that ink swatching or painting with inks is such a really great way to calm down and have some quiet time. Oh, love that. So now that those have had some time to dry, you can see what pitted purple looks like. I've Pitted purple, pitted nickel <laughs> looks like. I really like that. It's almost like a gray green. 
really pretty. And then arugula. I love the way that that dried. It reminds me of Rohr and Klingner Alt Goldgrun. And then Solar Storm. Don't mind the feathering. I think that was just how much ink I put on the Kakimori nib. Very pretty. Look at the shading. And then Andorillium Gallinol Purple. Reminds me of Noodler's Polar Purple. Ink Institute Moonshine. Like that ink just looks so silky in terms of its shading. Beautiful. And then of course, Pilot Orochizuku Murasaki Shikibu, one that I've already had, but I don't ever say no to a sample of this. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually test out this Fude nib that Katie sent. So this Fude nib is also a Yovo nib, so it was easy to take out the Yovo nib that was in here and put that right into the feed. So I'm going to dip it into see I'm gonna actually dip it into the arugula because I just loved that one where's my tape holder honestly I can't get enough of this so I'm just gonna dip it for it now just to test that out wipe the edge of the pen so oh my gosh I'm nervous why am I nervous Fude. It's a Yovo. Oh my gosh. Nib. So I'm going to, depending on the angle that you're writing it at, you can write pretty straight up and get quite a fine line. And then, and then the closer you are, like the more that you hold the pen closer to, or at a less of an angle to the paper you get those oh how fun oh and it's so smooth i mean like when you try to write with it like this like, can you write with it like this not really so and this is the what is it the birmingham And co. And this is in the arugula. Oh, how fun is that nib? Oh my gosh. Now, I know this is probably not something that I would use for journaling, but how fun would all of the headings be? in that. Oh, it's still going. Wow. Like, let's see, let's write the quick. Oh, let's learn how to spell Karina. Uh, brown. Fox. Jumped. Jumps. Over the lazy dog. Oh my gosh, that is a fun, fun nib. And I think from what I'm seeing here, it is a Jin Hao nib. So you can probably buy a Jin Hao Fude nib on Amazon. How fun is that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Kate. I'm going to try and do a little thing here. And oh yeah. Trying to use up all the ink that's in here. Oh my goodness. How fun. Like, okay, I don't know if you want to watch me do this all day, but I'm all, I'm, 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 I am trying to just use up what ink is on there. Oh, fun, 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 fun. One of the things I forgot to do was to show you what this stamp looks like. So I'm going to use my versa magic to ink that up here just to see what it's gonna look like i am so excited katie is so so talented and the fact that she did this for me just amazes me so make sure everything is inked up then knowing me i'll still make a mess 
That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So, so fun. Thank you so much. I have the most talented friends. Oh my goodness. All right, so that is my whole package, minus the nibs, because I've already put them away. Um, that is my whole package from Katie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am just astounded at her generosity, but also her just talent. Her talent is absolutely amazing. I am just in awe of her talent, and I am so grateful for our friendship. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh, Lucy. She's literally right outside the basement window barking at me. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.